Hi, I'm Sarah Zinsky. I'm a postdoc at, in the Johnson Lab at Duke University, uh, where I study cephalopod visual perception and camouflage. Okay, so this is the squid Onychotuthis banksi, and you can see um, as the blue light hits it, the chromatophores are expanding and it's pigmented, whereas when the light goes away, then it contracts those chromatophores and it's transparent again. So this is the octopus Japatella, um, and here he is in his transparent form, sitting in the tank, and as the blue light, the flashing blue light, hits the animal, then the chromatophores are expanded, and when the light's turned off, then those chromatophores are contracted again, and it reverts to the transparent form. So it's really useful for the cephalopods to be transparent and pigmented because of the different predator strategies that are used for viewing the animals in these deep waters where they live. Some predators uh, spot them by their silhouettes looking up against the downwelling light, whereas other ones use these biological searchlights. So when the animals are transparent it's, and these biological searchlights hit them, it's much the same um, as a torchlight being shone on a window pane at night, whereas when they're pigmented, these biological searchlights don't pick up the reflections.